Skill-based matchmaking has been a major issue in Call of Duty and all of gaming for many years now. Don't just take it from some tips and tricks guy on YouTube though, how about we talk to the best of the best, Optic Scump, Optic Dashy, amongst many others. It's a Jesus sad Christ, day. It's not my ear. Yo, like, we're the dead ass playing like a fucking scrap, dude. Dude, I'm mind Yeah, I'm getting on Warzone. I, I swear to God I was gonna ask if you were down on Warzone. Yeah, I'm done with this. We know Warzone. <laughs> I just can't believe what we just played, dog. Oh my god, that is so annoying, bro. How can SBMM be so strong and so bad that the players who do this for a living, making millions of dollars just because they're so good at the game, can't even stay on and play the beta of the newest game that they're gonna have to play every day for the next year? It's gotten so bad with enough public outrage that even Call of Duty has finally released a statement on it after years and years of being very secretive. But they didn't say anything about fixing it. They did didn't even really address the fact that we all hate it. They basically just said, yeah, it's a thing that we do. Now that's one thing that they address that it's there, but maybe they're not going to fix it. It's another thing when behind the scenes, it seems as though they're making it even stronger and stronger as the years go by. So what do we do when our favorite video games are implementing a system that actively hurts the player base? They are completely unapologetic about it and seem to just be making it harder and harder to play and have fun. Well, you guys know me. I make mostly ranked content. I don't want bot lobby. But I also don't want to be playing against top 250 players in every single public lobby that I'm in. Me and my girlfriend used to love playing Call of Duty back in the day. She no longer plays because she doesn't want to play alone, but she can't play in my lobbies. And this is something that genuinely makes her and myself pretty sad. I'm very competitive, I always have been. I come from a sports background. I used to love coming home from basketball though to play Call of Duty and relax. In some games I'd have to try really hard against good teams, while other games would be a lot easier and I could sit back and relax. I miss the variety of gaming like that where you never really know who you were up against. This is something that SBMM completely ripped away from us. I know that every lobby I load into, I'm gonna have to sweat as hard as I can. This is my job, I play this game every single day. I try very hard to get really good, I try to learn all the ins and outs of the game, and it's a lot of fun for me. I can't wait to utilize that in ranked game modes. Public matches, I don't want to have to utilize all the nerdy things that I've learned, but instead I literally have to just to win a few rounds in Search and Destroy. There has got to be a way to add some variety to matchmaking again. And just when I was about to give up on Modern Warfare 3 until ranked release, I received an email that said something along the lines of, we know how to disable skill-based matchmaking. Which I originally expected to be a scam, but as I read through their message, I realized they knew what they were talking about. This person and their team know the ins and outs of Call of Duty's matchmaking system, and they know how we can get out of this SBMM loop. For a full disclaimer, if you're looking for a way to get bot lobbies every single game, this is not the video for you. If you are looking for a way to just maybe get a little bit of relaxation when you're gaming, you're at the right spot. As I looked through their message, they invited me to test out their program. And if I liked it, I was gonna be able to offer it to you guys, even with a discount code. When they reached out to me, they basically just told me try out their program, and if I like it, they'll give me a code that I can give to you guys. That way you can get this, even if you're on console or PC, this will work. And all you do is click a button to turn it on, and I'm gonna show you guys all of that in today's video. I wanna say one more time and make it abundantly clear, I am not advocating for any type of cheats. If you cheat in an online video game, you're the worst type of person. And if you're a cheater and you're watching this, I hope that hurt your feelings. I'm also not telling you that you can get reverse boosted bot lobbies every single game either. The YouTubers who do that also should be ashamed of themselves. And I even question whether or not I should make this video. Because as you guys know, again, I usually just play ranked on this channel and all of those clips you can see I'm against other players in my rank. So I don't want people to see this video and get the idea that what I do is the reverse boosting stuff that some of these crazy guys do on YouTube. I'm simply going to help you add some variety for the casual gamer who doesn't want to have to play against a sweat every game. If you you want to finally come home and just relax, crack open a drink, listen to some music, or turn on a show while you play Call of Duty and just have fun again, then this video is how you can do that. Now this program is called SBMM Off, and that's the perfect name because that's exactly what it does for you. I'm gonna be showing you guys evidence of how it works today. I'm gonna show you before and after direct results of how the lobbies have changed with and without the program, and it's a pretty big difference. All right, so I wanna show you guys exactly how it works in real time. No script, no talking, no editing, nothing. I'm just gonna show you guys exactly how it works. Ignore the messy desktop. I do all my own thumbnails, editing, recording, all that stuff, so my computer's a mess. But this is the program right here. It's very simple and straightforward once you download it you open it up after you sign in and you get to pretty much pick your server. And there's a ton of different options as you can see. This is already way more servers than most VPN programs have as far as I'm aware. But what they do is they go over the top with a lot of different things to make sure that you're doing your best to keep yourself out of the 
death grips that are SBMM. So as you can see, my time right here is eight in the morning, um, but it has the time next to every server in here. So what you usually wanna do to get your best results is go somewhere that's between like 2 a.m. and like 8 a.m. Looks like the best options we have would be around 7 a.m. We have Canada, uh, we even have like California and Texas um, it's like 6 a.m. over there. You can go from open to strict NAT type. And again, these are all things that help with combating SBMM like I've talked about all video. But another thing that I haven't really mentioned is that these have uses outside of that. One of them is I like gaming with a VPN. I like doing everything on the internet with a VPN just due to security reasons, due to trying to keep myself and my family safe. Strict and open NAT types are interesting. I really don't notice a difference when I tried either one of these, but uh, some people I saw uh, online have said that they do get a lot better lobbies with strict it seems to work whether it's strict or open um, so you pick whatever server you pick like oh like i said open strict doesn't matter and you just click connect once it's done it'll let you know and you'll be good to go the next thing it has after you click connect you could go to your geofence now for pc users this is how to activate the geofence or how to set it up right you select game exe and you need this to be your cod.exe so you just click on it um, browse for it and it's usually I mean just read this right here that tells you where it's at once that's selected you're all done with that and now you have all what is it nine different geofence locations that you could select from these also have the time zone included and this pretty much locks you in so I'm on the East Coast in uh, in America so I'm gonna hit East Coast and it's gonna apply the settings and it's gonna make it to where that I'm not gonna be lagging because they're not gonna be putting me on any server outside of the one closest to me and on top of that, we then have the VPN that we connected. And with that combo, it seems to do something to SBMM. Like I said, you're gonna see in a second the scoreboards and everything. It was just way more fun. I don't know. It was just way more fun. We'll leave it at that. But that's how you use it. And it's really that simple. So load it up, click Geofence, pick whichever one of these is closest to you. Close that out. And then you want to connect to whatever server you choose. Last couple of days, I was trying to figure out which one of these was giving me the best results. And um, and they all seem to just be pretty much the same. So I, I don't know that it matters necessarily which one you pick. And it doesn't come at the expense of anyone else's experience. And that's why I think this is something that we would all benefit from because... Like I mentioned earlier in the video, if you have a company like Activision that doesn't care that we hate SBMM. And in fact, we hate it so much that what do they do for us? They make it harder on us. They make it stronger so that we get even, I mean, every lobby I've been in this week, cause I don't use this every time I get on. I use the VPN when I want to play with my IRL friends. And the reason for that is because they don't want to be in my sweaty lobbies. When I do play with my sweaty friends, which we were playing the last two or three nights, top 250 players, iridescent players, every single lobby, not one game did we get a chance to just relax. But again, using this has made it to where me and my friends can play the game again and enjoy it. Again, we're not winning every single game. We're just, we're having fun. We're playing the game again and it, and it just, it feels great. And it's that easy to use now. Like I said, it is available on console. I have not tried to set it up with my console. I know it's very easy. You could easily search that up and, and find a quick tutorial. I know it's not hard. It seems like it might be complicated. I promise you it's not. I'm gonna be showing you guys the leaderboards from before and after, because I recorded those. Look at this already, right off the bat. This is before SBMM off. Look at this. Now, I, I know what's what's gonna come out of this in the comments and I beat you guys to it. You're gonna say, well, I need to play better. We're just losing because I suck and now I got a VPN and now all of a sudden we're winning. No, watch this, right? So my leaderboard's right here. I had the most kills at 46. The second had 30 on my team. On the other team, 29 was the top, right? I was going crazy. I was having a great game and we're gonna go through a couple of these. It's a loss, right? So the way SBMM seems to work is it gives you a rough lobby and then you get an easy lobby. I won 250 to 62. I don't want to win that easy. I want there to be somewhat of a fight. And I only got 12 kills. This was supposed to be my easy lobby, courtesy of SBMM. That's all right. Now let's move on to this massive losing streak. I was playing the High Rise 24-7 playlist, then I switched to Shipment. Here's another loss. I'm top of the leaderboard. By far, I have double the second player's kills. Um, and then the other team didn't even hit 30. I'm at 36. Again, I, I wasn't struggling in the lobby. This one, I had 35. The next highest, there was someone with 34. Outside of that, no one passed 24. And I actually remember this game, that corrupted world guy who got 34 was really good. Uh, moving on, another loss. And as you can see, I got another win on a team deathmatch, Rust. 
and then back to losing it's i mean it, it's crazy considering you guys know me you know what i've made in the past i solo queued to iridescent i was the first person to do that i, I mean i get accused of hacking all the time and look at my look at this is what my recent games look like before i get off on a rant you guys see what happened to me again not to sound cocky or anything but i i'm a very very good player and i have the kills and and, and stats and whatnot to prove it and yet i lost something like nine out of ten games now for sbmm off and here's the results i love this right i was playing solo so i don't expect a win streak and it goes win loss win loss win loss win that's perfect that's what we want we want to have fun now i don't want it to be that predictable i don't want it to be 50 50 but i was playing alone there's not much i could do about it this was my one like massive banger of a game where i had 60 it wasn't anything crazy like that and as you can see, the rest of the lobbies were pretty much run of the mill kill wise for me. I didn't particularly do better or worse with or without the VPN connected. But what I did have was better, more balanced teams. As you can see, I had lost three straight SBMM off. I turned it on and as a solo cure, I went 50 50. And as a solo cure, you kind of expect that, which is why, again, I only use this when I play with my IRLs who are casuals and honestly if i had to camo grind still i would be using this however i did the camo grind before i uh, i used this so that i missed out on but here's how you can get sbmm off top link in the description i'm gonna make it very easy to see um and what you're gonna do is you're gonna come here gold club lifetime access this is lifetime 50 bucks and i have code reddix like i said is gonna get you guys a discount as well but 50 bucks in comparison to a lot of these other gaming VPNs, they want 20 bucks a month. They want $200 a year, every year. This is one-time purchase. Now, once you click add to cart, it will automatically put my code Redix in to save you guys some money. If it doesn't, you can always just type in Redix and you're able to check out credit card, crypto, all sorts of options. So again, I'm not here to sell you guys the VPN. I'm just showing for anyone who is gonna get it, this is how you get it. Um, I care a lot about my credibility. I'm here to legitimately help people improve at the game because i am a legitimate good player there's a lot of cheaters out here we know this it's it's obvious and we find out more and more day by day and that's why i report on these cheaters sometimes on this channel always on my TikTok. i'm actually after i finish this i'm gonna make another video about someone who else someone else who just got caught cheating it's it's a big problem in online gaming right now but myself I legitimately am good so I want to help you guys get better as well and to do that you guys have to be able to trust me you don't want tips from some random guy who has no clue what he's talking about but he has a cheat program right so I was nervous about making a video like this because the stigma around VPNs is so negative but to me and I was one of those people too I was like man VPN like you you need to seriously use a VPN to get bot lobbies to think you're good and I started to find out more and more about it and it turns out Oh, um, I mean, as far as I know, and I know this is a very, very broad statement, pretty much every streamer uses a VPN. A ton of them use SBMM off. I'm not going to say who or anything like that, but a lot of big streamers use this very program to uh, to just make their streams more enjoyable. I mean, imagine this, right? I'm, I'm playing this game right here where I'm live streaming and I'm just pissed off the whole time, just having a horrible time. Then I try to read chat. And I'm, I'm mad at you guys now. I mean, I wouldn't do that, but someone might, right? Having a bad stream because you're getting killed by SBMM. I've seen my favorite streamers, Nade Shot, Scump. I've seen these guys go through it. So I, I, I started to realize and warm up to it that VPNs are actually really, really good. And I think everybody should use one. Just to clarify, because I did a bad job explaining in this video, the reason I said everyone should use a VPN is just because I'm super against SBMM. If you're on a whole six man squad full of like streamers and tryhards and things like that, you probably shouldn't be using a VPN. Instead right now, people who are like, I'm not using a VPN because that's for bots. <sighs> you're missing out, man. They're not bot lobbies. They're just, it's just fun. You're, you're having fun again. All the negativity stems from Warzone 1 around VPNs and it has lasted this long. If I use a VPN only for public matches, which if you use it in ranked, it's it's not gonna get you any easier lobbies or anything like that. But if you use it in public matches, everything's randomized, no SBMM. And then once, once ranked comes out in Modern Warfare 3, which is what I'm gonna be playing and posting and streaming,